hello viewers welcome back so this is part 18 of our series of session on tally release 3.0 and we are covering the gst module of tally prime so in this session we will take yet another use case where some of the organization would want to have gst specified rate wise so how can we handle this in tally prime we will we will see just now and also we will learn what are the precautions and important configurations that we have to keep in mind for you to manage the GST tax rate wise. So let us go to tally and explore the option of having tax rate wise GST tax lecture. As far as tally's GST module is concerned, you can actually have a single common ledger for your CGST, SGST and IGST even for your output and input tax from the compliance point of view. For some of them, the issue would be, let me show you the tax invoice. To print tax invoice, you're going to press Ctrl P and preview. You will have the tax invoice like this. But if you notice, the rate of GST is not getting displayed here. There is an option in Tally where you can display the rate of GST with the print configuration. That is, before you print, you can go to configure and you have this option called show item wise GST detail. You can make this as yes by just pressing enter and control A. Now when you come to preview, you will see the rate of GST for each of the item. Here there is only one item, but if you have multiple item, it is going to show you the rate of multiple item. It could be 18%, 12% or 28%. But the issue is that the invoice is going to be printing in landscape mode. Some of them would want to avoid this landscape. They want it to be printed in the portrait mode, but at the same time, they want to display the GST rate on the face of the invoice. So how do we handle this? This is where for some of them, if they want to maintain GST tax ledger rate base wise, they can do so. Tally provides the option of managing and maintaining GST tax ledger with the respective rate of GST. So that is what we are going to see now. How are we going to configure this? And at the same time, we will also understand what are the precautions and configurations that we have to keep in mind for us to ensure that we are able to capture the detail as per the GST compliance. We can create rate wise GST tax ledger. So let me show you how are we going to handle this. So I'll create one tax ledger. I'm going to type CGST at the rate of 18%. Now by mistake, let us say instead of specifying 9% for CGST, let's say you have entered 18% by mistake. So you're going to put this under duties and taxes, GST and type of tax is going to be CGST and here you're going to specify the rate. So I'm going to specify 18. It's a mistake, but we will see what is the implication of this. Enter and rounding off method, you can select normal rounding and say round off to nearest one rupee so that the you can avoid the unit rates. Now let us say that we are going to raise an invoice. So I'm going to select a stock item which is 18% GST rate. How do you know that this is 18% GST rate? Very simple. You can come back to the stock item, press control enter for stock item alteration and we will notice here that the GST rate is 18%. But what we have done is that by mistake, instead of capturing 9% for CGST, we have captured 18%. The quantity is one number. Let us say 10,000 is the amount. Enter. And now you are going to select your CGST ledger. CGST 18%. Enter. And you will observe that tally will not calculate tax since the rate you have captured for CGST is not the right proportionate of the tax amount. So tally keeps track of these mistakes and it will not allow the user to calculate tax and commit an error which is against the GST law. So how do we handle this? Very simple. Just come back here, press control enter and say CGST at 9% enter and just change the rate here to 9% and save it. The moment you save, you will observe that tally is automatically calculated the tax at 9%. The next ledger is SGST. I have already created SGST at 9%. Let me quickly show you the configuration in the alteration screen. Again, control enter and tax ledger is created as SGST at 9%, GST type of tax is SGST and the rate is specified as 9% and the rounding off is also specified. Control A and you will observe that tally is automatically calculated 9%. 
person. So important thing here you have to keep in mind is that when you are specifying the GST rate for each of the type of GST ledger, correct rate should be applied. Let's take the next use case. That is now the dealer wants to have multiple tax ledger with multiple rates. So I've already created. Let us quickly see the chart of account. So you will notice that all these ledgers have been created with the respective GST rate. Wherever it is IGST, the IGST if it is 12%, then the CGST is going to be 6% and SGST is going to be 6% and accordingly for the other rate of tax. The next question is that while invoicing, can you invoice items of different GST rate and how do we capture the GST tax for each one of them? Let's go to a sales voucher. So here we are going to select multiple stock item with multiple GST rate. Enter one number 10,000. Now before we select multiple stock item, another important thing that you have to keep in mind is that when you are selecting, let us say this stock item first is you need to know what is the rate of GST for this stock item. So come back here, control enter. This item is 18% GST. Now by mistake, if you are selecting CGST instead of 18%, let's say you are selecting 6% rate. Enter. Again, you will notice that tally will not calculate the GST. This is another important aspect that you have to keep in mind. Every item that you have, you have to select the correct GST rate ledger that you have created. So I'll come back here and when I say CGST 9%, it will automatically calculate. So now let's say that you want to capture other items of different rate. The second item you are selecting is stock item again we'll say this is one number again we'll say 10,000 so that it is easy to mentally calculate the third item one number 5,000 the fourth item is again one number 12,000 now each of this item actually I have created with different GST rate so again quickly for you to check what is the rate that has been specified for this item we saw stock item a come to stock item B press control enter and this stock item the rate of GST is 12%. Similarly, third item is 5% and the fourth item is 28%. And if you see here, our sales ledger, come to sales ledger and press control enter and the sales ledger is 18% has been specified for this sales ledger. Now, irrespective of the rate that you specify for the sales ledger, if you specify GST rate for the GST tax ledger, tally will first give the preference of inheritance and hierarchy which is configured for your tax ledger that is very important for us to understand now once you have completed this item all you have to do is now you have to select the respective tax ledger and tally will automatically take the transaction value of that item and calculate tax as specified for that item and your tax ledger so let's select in order so first we will say cgst 2.5 and it is calculating 2.5 for your item number c stock item number c which is five percent five thousand and two and a half percent on five thousand is 125 and you will also observe that now the rate of gst is also getting displayed since we have specified the rate of gst while creating the gst tax ledger so select cgst six percent it will again calculate 6% which is our item number B, stock item number B, 6% on 10,000 is 600. The third one CGST 9% which is our first item 9% on 10,000 is 900. The next item CGST 14% which is our fourth stock item D 12,000 14% is 1680. Next we have to select our SGST ledger, SGST 2.5 it will automatically calculate if it is not calculating that means you have made some mistake in the master configuration which we saw earlier sgst six percent sgst nine percent and sgst fourteen percent so tally is calculated properly if there are odd values here for you to make sure that tally is computing the tax properly for each of the item as per the rate of GST specified for the item, irrespective of what the rate you are specified, it will ignore this rate since the rate have been specified at the tax level. So you have this option here. We have seen this in our previous videos. So come to related report and then click on GST tax analysis and press Alt F5 for detail. And for each of the item, Tally is now going to specify what is the transaction value and what is the rate of GST and the calculation of GST for each item 9, 6, 2.5 and 14 in the order that we have selected 
the item item a b c and d and you can save this voucher so once we save this voucher now let us see the tax invoice how the tax invoice is going to get printed so press page up to recall your previously saved voucher and press ctrl p and before that let us go and change the rate wise here so go to configure and we had specified that show item wise gst rate now we don't want since we have created gst rate tax ledger wise so you can just press escape and now come to preview and you will observe that each item it has got as hsn the rate and also it is giving you the rate of gst for each of the item since we have too many line items it says it is continued in the next page for your gst analysis just press page down and when you press page down it is taking you the other item also where it is now showing you for each of the item the gst analysis as required by the gst now there is another option where instead of having this in two line item in tally we can compress this to a single page of invoice so how do we do that press escape come to configure so we have this option called optimize printing to save page set this to yes and then just press escape and now let us come to preview and see what happens if you observe here now this whole information is getting captured in one single page so make use of this option whenever your invoice is exceeding one page and which can be accommodated in one single page the next requirement could be fine we have created separate rate for each item but then which item contains what rate of tax how do we capture this information on the face of the invoice now there is an option in tally where you can specify the rate for this item which will get captured in the face of the invoice so how do we do that press escape come to stock it a and then press ctrl enter and you have this option here saying rate of duty it says example 5 now this rate of duty for this item is how much 18 percent so just put 18 and now let's print this again ctrl p preview now it is going to specify that which item has got what rate of gst by using this additional field of rate of duty so each item now it is telling you what is the rate of gst and accordingly you will now see that if this item is 18 percent then the cgst 9 percent is calculated on this 10,000 at 9 percent is 900 so it becomes much much easier and clearer for your customer to analyze the rate of the item and cross check whether the gst has been charged properly this way you are able to handle each item with the rate of gst and also individual gst tax ledger even though we have created this rate wise tax ledger from the compliance point of view in the gst return tally will consolidate all the rate wise information and it is going to show you the normal way that we have been seeing in our earlier videos so let us go to gstr1 so we are in gstr1 report and you will observe that the total taxable amount is 37000 and the cgst it will consolidate different rate tax and it will put you the total cgst amount and the sgst amount which is what we have been seeing when we had created our common ledger for input and output and in the previous video we saw how you can set up your input tax ledgers under current asset irrespective of what mechanism for your accounting you use from the gst return point of view it is always going to consolidate and show you the output here and in your gstr3 it will consolidate and it will give you the input credit which are available for you i hope this video would have given you a fair idea of how you can manage your gst tax ledger based on the rate of gst and we also learned the important precautions and the configurations that we have to keep in mind for you to effectively use the gst module of tally prime so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much